A big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, and a big thanks to all of these donators of $5 or more. Gloomy Horse, An Enthusiast, Willie Davenport, and Vlad Tepish 3176 You all helped make these episodes possible. Howdy, Insufferable Gaming fans. Your old Power Ross are here with some more Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin Edition. Last time, we somehow, amazingly, made it through the run. Since then, I've made a couple of slight improvements, the least of which is my audio levels, because clearly I never fix my audio levels. Let's try that. Okay, so first thing I did was fix my controller. Second thing I did was to replace my USB cable in the controller. Since it's bouncing all around and going in and out, I can see already that that wasn't the problem either. So who even knows? However, I will not let this deter me. For tonight, we can finally see what lies beyond the layer of the rotten. We'll preface this with some nice, we'll, we'll get ourselves nice and relaxed, take a cup of wine, out of our pimp cup, we'll light some delightful incense. This incense is in fact frankincense. And if it's good enough for Jesus, then it's good enough for me, damn it. Hopefully it will overwhelm the smell of funky feet. Waft it around. Waft it around. Perfect. Stick that in the burner, and we good. We're off to a Cracker Jack start. I lit the wrong fucking end. You know... I thought, surely, everything was gonna go great right off the bat, we were gonna just get started, everything would go well. But no, no, no. I gotta make myself look like a freaking jackass. Immediately. Just goes to show. Let's try this again. Thank you for the cheer, Zero. Much appreciated. Penis and a weenus. Okay. Let us see. By the way, Zero, how are the audio levels? Acceptable? I'm shooting for acceptable. Hoping for decent. We need to figure out what lies beyond. The lair of the rotten, horrible corpse monster. We may find out this day. It's gonna happen. Hell, I mean, last session not only did we get there, but we also beat the boss finally. And this time I'm not nearly as plastered. Although, I'm also not nearly as determined. Complacency. Complacency has made me lazy, and we can't be having that. Which is why I'm playing again. We gotta get there, man. Now, Zero, you'll notice my uniquely shaped helmet. 
which is very important to proper adventuring. If you want to adventure properly, you have to have a uniquely shaped helmet. Alas, it is not a magic helmet, and I am not equipped with a spear. So some of the tropes have not been satisfied at this time. Some bitch. Come on, man. Sometimes those things just hit you right in the back. Much like life has hit me in the back. Woke up this morning with a tremendous amount of pain in my spine. It hasn't subsided in the least. Alright. Let's just try to frickin' get there from here. Wait, don't tell me I have to fight this guy again. Okay. Good. I don't have to fight this guy again. Just... Give me my souls, man. My 7,708 souls, if anyone was wondering. Ah! Shit! What the hell, man? You weird-looking warbler. Have a little fire, scarecrow. Um, scare hand. Terrifying hand. I'd also probably try to make sure that I'm equipped with the correct bottles. Okay. So. Got here last time. What can we explore? What do we got? Chest ahead and then left. Okay. That's good to know. Chest ahead and then left. Could this be where the chest is? Chest right. I mean, that does look like a chest. It doesn't appear to be jiggling. A non-jiggling chest is the best kind of chest. Well, let me rephrase that. Petrified something simpleton spice and skeptic spice. I know what one of those things does. No, I like a jiggling chest, I do. Just, you know, not in a game where that means mimics. Hmm. Skeptic spice, scenic spice, what the hell ever. And whatever else was in that chest, which now I don't even remember. Well, guess we're just gonna have to keep going. Hope I don't get completely killed. Well, this is an interesting chamber. What does it mean? Be wary of illusion. Okay. Well, hell. It's a bonfire. See? Things are looking up. Now, what's this about an illusion? Door ahead. Okay. Fight something ahead, don't give up. Alright. Her offer hiding place. Okay. I'm gonna have to do some reading here, aren't I? That's fine. I'm cool with that. Forbidden is the path to the ancient king's domain. Trespassers will face adversity befitting a monarch. So, like, being forced to inbreed with pasty face Europeans? Okay. Not the fate I really wanted for myself, but I'm willing to take that risk. With water dry and path amiss, woeful temptation is dismissed. That sounds like it's a hint. City of the sunken king's king sleeps, as does the dragon within. Okay. Water dry and path amiss, woeful temptation is dismissed. With water dry. So we're definitely going to need some dry ice. Or some vodka. 
Or maybe we need to just empty ye flask. Let's dry that up. We were notified that there would be illusions ahead, right? So, what now? Probably should have looked at this first. Probably should have looked at that a lot sooner. I may have thought myself into a corner here. Me and my zero Estus flasks. Let's see what the ghosts of old have to tell us. They got killed by something down there, that's for sure. Good to know, good to know. Spare ahead. Tough enemy ahead. The sign written here is being channeled from somewhere far away. Well, that ain't normal. That ain't normal at all. No siree. Light that torch, baby. This will surely end well. This is not ending well. Don't tell me. Is this where I have to go, like, after I've gotten all of the great souls or whatever the hell they're called? Have I taken, like, some sort of major detour? I mean, obviously I have. Because everyone was like, you know what? You are not doing this in the right order. And I'm like, well, I don't know what to tell you. Stop lighting the torch. That's, that's not helping. That's not helping in the least. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. You know what? Go ahead and light the torch. Maybe this flame is different and special. Maybe this flame will light the way. Sure, why not? I mean, I guess it's possible, right? Eh, maybe not. Well, well. This was an absolute bust. Back to the far fire. I'm sure we'll have plenty of things to be told by our good buddy here who tells us things that aren't cryptic at all. Bearer of curses. Yes. Seek souls. Larger, more powerful souls. Done. Seek the king. That is the only way. Uh -huh. A little direction would not be unappreciated there, lady. I don't even have enough for a level up. That just makes me sad. Seems like a vague hint. Anything else? Even when you have precious little time, you can still get off an Estus flask drink and maybe make it through. Good advice. Anything else? Take one step forward and two back. I'm guessing that I'm barking up a cryptic and non-helpful tree here. Yeah, don't have any of those. Alright, well, 
that we had that little talk lady that was absolutely positively pointless to me. Except for that part about the small person barking in the dark or whatever the hell that was. That could help. All I have to do is figure out where the hell she's talking about. So, I guess we'll just have to go on a journey. I knew you'd be around us. Show me what you've got. Any hints? Not so good, buddy. How goes your journey? Oh. Hey, he gave me a thing. That was damn decent of him. You need souls to repair and improve your equipment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know the name of the The souls would have many other uses as well. Right. Don't waste your souls on useless trinkets. Think before you spin. Easy for that guy to say, think before you spin. He's probably using a walkthrough. I still have, well, I have one Titanite shard, but that's not nearly enough Titanite shards. Bitch, waste your time. What else you gotta do? Who are you hammering stuff for? I ask you. Who else is here besides me, a cryptic person, a creepy old lady, some kind of clearly insane person hanging out by a monument? Um, a vendor that has given up hope, a cat that probably wants to kill me. I think I, I think I touched on everyone that was in this town. Again, it's been a long time since I've really gone through town person by person, but I may have touched on everyone there. See, like this guy. Oh wait, no. This is that chick that I saved and I gave her some armor. I'm glad to see you're well. I forgot about her. You got anything? Uh, 1250 souls? No. I mean, I have enough souls, but... I guess not. Rings, 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 lightning, fire, dark, defense. Not the most helpful thing ever. Temporary boosts. Strength is pyromancy flame. Wait. Is that permanently strengthens pyromancy flame? Because I'll take one. It's not, is it? I have wasted a bunch of souls, haven't I? I should probably stop making impulse purchases. Here's the question, how do I get to wherever that thing is located so I can actually look up what it is and what it does. Here it is. Strengthens pyromancy flame. I mean, it seems like a key item. Maybe I just keep it in my inventory. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay, where go? We could try down the well again, or we could try at the other end of that place over here, where there were all the skeletons, but I think that led to the tower, to which I have already been repeatedly, so maybe down well again? But didn't down well lead to the other place? Ah. That's the problem. It's been so long since I've played regularly that I'm not remembering things as well as I should. Let's see. 
Don't need this. Let's put the silver cat ring on. And we can just uh, use that to kind of shuffle on down and see if maybe I missed something down here. Assuming I don't fall flat on my goddamn face. Okay, you can drink. To be clear, I did fall flat on my goddamn face. Right square upon it. Landed face first, shot my nose right through the back of my skull. That's not right, man. That's just messed up. Look at that real-time shadowing. That's classy right there. Ray tracing eat your heart out. Haha, <laughs> I lived that time. Probably shouldn't have lived, but here we are. One step at a time, babe. You know, that's on me right there. I was like, that looks really fragile. I think I'll jump right in the middle of it where it's tied together with freaking cello tape. Not even duct tape or flex tape, just like scotch tape. Howdy, Angro. How you doing? I'm failing downwards right now. I highly doubt that I will figure out where to go from here, but I'm giving her the old college try. for whatever reason. See, like, I had no business living through that. No, no, not feeling downwards, failing downwards. Like, I keep falling down and failing. completely different thing. And now in this late hour do I see that I have made a terrible mistake and I'm not sure that I can make it to that ledge over there. Somehow I made it to that edge down there. But how are you feeling? Hopefully, not too terribly. Now, if you are, I completely understand. Yeah, with any luck, I will not completely screw up, but... Again, it's been so long since I've played regularly that... Again, I'm, you know, having trouble remembering what is what, and where is where, and whether or not wherever I'm going is actually going to help me get somewhere in the future. Like, none of this even looks remotely familiar right now, but I'm pretty sure that I've seen it before. Like, I'm pretty sure that I fought a bunch of rats. I specifically remember fighting that whole boot load of rats in the past. Just an incredibly large number of rats. Can I maybe, just maybe, get out of that corner? That'd be great, guys. Yeesh! Run away! Run away! Okay. That was way more health and items than I feel like I should have given up there. 
Oh, Joy, a waist cloth. I hope it's a loin cheese cloth, because that would just be the best. Looks like there's a way down in the middle there. You're being summoned as a gray squirrel. What the hell? I'm being summoned as a gray squirrel. What the hell is a gray spirit? I... What? Hello? What in the world? Well, I'm horrendously confused now. What does it mean to be summoned as a grave spirit? I can't say that I've ever had this happen before. Am I supposed to be doing something or? Is there an emote that I can use that makes me, like, shrug confusedly when I see someone? Because... That's, um... Seriously, what the hell? I don't know if I'm supposed to be fighting a dude or helping a dude. Like, is this co-op or...? I'm totally down for some co-op. Also, I'm starting to vaguely remember this area. I haven't been here for ages. You're absolutely right, Iron Crew. There should be a wave. Yeah, there's a wave gesture. Okay, I'll use that. I think this is co-op, maybe? I guess? I don't know any better. I'm so confused. Where'd you go? Hello? There you are. I have no idea what happened, but I guess it worked. Okay. Apparently I did the right thing. Hell, cheers. That was neat. Hey, I'll, I'll take it. Okay, now here's where I fought the King Rat. Oh my god, that was a hard fought battle, I tell you what. Man, that King Rat fight, that was just. woof. So, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I did not. Hello. I did talk to you before, didn't I? Yeah, I'm going to have to make that a new, buddy. 
I mean, I'm already a festering gross undead. I don't also need to be a plague bearer to boot. Oh, shit. And now I'm on the inside of that area that I was looking at earlier. Hey, man. Eddie, we have just been speaking to rat creatures. And I'm trying to figure out where the hell to be go from here. Yeah, I mean, I don't trust anything, period, that's sitting atop a shelf of corpses and bone dust. Unless it's a talking skull, and said talking skull has been an heirloom of my family for many years. That's the exception. Try jumping. clearly been here before because there's an open treasure chest. The question is, what was I doing here before? Visions of Merchant. Ah. See, you missed it, Maddie. I just got sucked into some multiplayer and I had no idea what the hell I was doing, but apparently I made it through it somehow. And I even used emotes and gestures like a real gamer, like a big boy. Oh, nothing's wrong with rodents as long as they're not, you know, undead and actively trying to kill you. Like most of them are these days in this game. You got to admit, this is this game is not a good look for the rodents. If I jump over there, oh, there's a thing I haven't gotten before, but can I get to it? It's like crazy. There is no way I'm getting over there, is there? Pure luck. Yes, I can see how that might be pure luck. Oh, and I asked earlier Ein Crew and Medi about the uh, about the audio levels, but there's also a chance that there is some background noise, and if there is some background noise, that is because I am 3D printing a fancy lampshade from scratch, from a design of my own. Also, I'm pouring myself another. Yeah, I fi I figured I figured it would be at least a little bit audible. But I've got my fancy pimp cup. So, cheers, mates. Keep on heading over. All right. Start as. Um, I don't know. It was like three years ago when I started this run. Oh, crap. Oh shit, that guy's got a bomb. You know, some days you just can't get rid of a bomb.
Some days you can't get rid of three bombs in a row. <laughs> I know, right? Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately. Actually, you know what? I'll say fortunately. Fortunately, my little uh, step nieces are coming in to visit tomorrow, so I'm going to be laying off of the booze for a week. Try back and then treasure ahead. Okay. First, I'll try back. Yeah, I've heard that uh, Dark Souls 2 isn't the best in Dark Souls gameplay, but... I also actually own a copy of Dark Souls 3, which I will also be playing blind, and... Don't all the Dark Souls just kind of try to kill you? Splash, splash, splash. You know... I just thought of something. I'm still using my fancy poison blocking shield. What if I switch that to a fancy physical blocking shield? Since I'm not, you know, specifically trying to block poison itself at the moment, I could help. This is going to lead me all the way back to Poison Town, isn't it? I can see it coming already. The lack of enemies, it's because I already killed them ten times each, isn't it? Well, if that turns out to be the case, then at least I have eliminated one possible route of where to go next, so... That is at least helpful. Hello. Hello. Can I get a ladder? There it is. Just gotta look for it. That's all. Looping around, and there's a letter. All right. To the this way, or no, I've already been here too. Hmm. Again, we're eliminating possibilities. Remem we're remembering old routes, and of course, look everybody, it's the freaking spitting statues, be wary of tough enemy, yes I shall, ah, hold off. Don't you dare. Don't you tell me what not to dare to do, but at the same time I will I will not dare. So there. Oh god. And the walls are melting, which is always a good sign. Alright. We're in the upper gutter. So, I've definitely been to the upper gutter before. And the central gutter. I'm guessing that leads to the Black Gulch. Hmm. Hmm.
I mean... I'd like to just keep casting around randomly, but I feel like I should head back down and see if maybe, just maybe, I can find some deviant paths that I haven't been to before and do this just a little bit more methodically than I did last time. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll won't. I remember this guy. Yeah. That statue is awesome. Look at it. It's all like, look at me. I got this bitch in a cloak. Hey, 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 I was on your side, you nutsack. Don't you back sass me, rear boy. I'll snap you like a twig. I'll snap you like the twig that your god's face is made of. Except those twigs are rocks sometimes. See? You try to get along. You try to adapt to local customs, and this is what you get. It doesn't pay to play along. This is our life now, we're just going to have to go through and destroy all of the hollows here. I am going to get, yep, I had a suspicion that I was going to get lit on fire. Oh, you know what, I think I remember that there was someone that had an evil sword that would just wreck my shit from left to right on one of these bridges, too. See? I'm gradually remembering what I've forgotten about this area and this game in general. Not that I'm necessarily going to benefit from these memories, but you never know. It could happen. They're off for safe zone, therefore jumping off. Okay. It's got a lot of ratings. Let's try it. Whee! Oh my god, it worked. Oh my god, it's an oil pit. This is working great. I'm, I am happy with the way this has all gone down, and I have no regrets now. That was a bit harrowing. You know what? I gave the whole side face camera thing, I think I'm just going to move that right on back now, because that's not really, that's not really doing it for me. You may agree, you may not, but I don't think that uh, that whole side angle is doing me any favors. Okay, let's see what we got. A large soul of a nameless soldier. 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 Hi, buddy. Really? Alright. Is this what we're doing today? We're starting an argument. That's what we're doing today. Alright. Duly noted. My shield bashing is so off. I would have had a really good one-liner back there if, you know, I hadn't have completely screwed it up and looked like a fool with my pants on the ground. Hidden path ahead. Is it this one? Item. I do like items. Try attacking. 
Okay. Anything else? That's Dharma Head. This place again? It is. It is this place again. Well, who do you do? Where else we got? Where else we got? This has large monsters, so I probably haven't been here too awful many times in a row. Hey, buddy. Oh my god, it's a male elephant. Not to be confused with a male elephant. Oh my god, it's a dwarf. I've got elephants and I've got dwarves. Probably should have just attacked him in the first place. I've got germ warrior gloves. Well, thank god. I was worried that I wouldn't have enough gloves at the end of the day, but here we are. With some extra gloves. Try right, then bonfire. Well, I've already gotten the bonfire, clearly. Although I should probably save at it. Huzzah. Plus, now I can kill that elephant and that dwarf again. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Split out. You look like a rubber lad having a big old anvil hammer. Old Mundane Stone. That's my rap name, Old Mundane Stone. If I had a dollar for every time that I had a weird set of words and I said that's my rap name, I'd have several dollars. Weakness, rear. Good to hear. Wow. That was brutal. Let's take a moment to lament the life that could have been from that bandy-legged Puritan. Mm. Poor dude got brutalized. I almost feel bad for him. Is that a cock's hair? Money bags. And we're once more seeing the poison spitting statues, which is always a good good news. Are these things in more places than I had expected? Hey, don't you throw your axes at me, axehole. I'll throw fireballs at you back, buddy. I'll do it. Don't you damn well think that I won't, because I will. This is me throwing fireballs at you. That's what you get. You could have dropped, like, maybe some cool axes to pick up or something. 
Alas. Ooh, it's a crystal bug and it's gone. And I didn't notice it until the last possible second. Hey, we're getting large Titanite shards, so we got that going for us. Draw for bravery? What, like... Beating the crap out of a rainbow-colored Valhallen warrior right in the back? Definitely making sure that he goes straight to the realms of hell instead of dying in honorable combat like the pimp that he should be? Yeah, feel great about that. Just the tits. Just the tits. Ah. Okay. Um, point of fact, perhaps trying to time the parry for a hammer that's the size of like my chest <laughs> the dwarf to deliver he I, I deserve that iron crew I absolutely deserve that that was entirely my bad and now my timing is even more far off than ever Now, if I was ever here before, it was when I was so drunk that I do not remember it, so... Surely, this path will lead me to something. Alright, we got a dwarf coming. Sneak, 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 sneak. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. I have to know if I can parry the hammer blows. I have to figure it out. I have to find out. I know it's stupid of me to try to do it, but ah, uh, if I can, it, it will be just so freaking satisfying, man. You're cool. You can live. I was headed up last time, right? I think I was. And there was the guy with the axes. Both axes. He's got a bitchin' beard. Really sweet beard. So, earlier this week I was playing a game where it turns out that uh, you couldn't, you could reverse the up and down for your camera controls, but you couldn't reverse the left and right. So, all of the camera controls just seem really weird in that game, man. Just weird. Just absolutely not what I'm used to. Hey, hey, get back! Oh, I hit the square button to attack. Square button doesn't attack. Square button never attacks in this game. Why do I keep forgetting that when it really, really counts? Answer. Because again, I am not particularly with it all the time. I think we can all agree that I am not anywhere close to the best gamer or even a middling gamer, but I am a tenacious gamer.
Which is why I'm still playing Dark Souls 2 after like two freaking years. Because I want to finish all the games that I started back in the day, damn it. I owe it to the lot of you. Yeah, this doesn't look suspicious. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I become friends with the Rainbow Lizard, then surely it will give me souls all the time. Instead of, you know, just killing it and, you know, if I'm its friend, then it'll molt and I can collect its skins and... How is this going to bite me in the ass? Okay, there's one pot left. Do you think it'll have any rupees? Also, I just realized that I was still wearing the cat ring, which is not remotely helpful. Let's see, are you wearing one of those? Restoration, not as helpful as you'd hope it is. Covet a silver serpent ring, that's pretty good. I'll take that. And what did the Chloranthi ring do again? Was that like, um, yeah, stamina recovery. Definitely want to keep that. Okay, be good now. Oh, and Maddie makes a good point. I've been drinking a lot of alcohol, but you definitely want to drink a lot of water while you're drinking alcohol so that you don't become dehydrated and get a hangover and or a headache later. So drink plenty of tap water, kids. At least eight ounces for every standard drink. Okay, now I'm starting to remember this place. This is another one of those areas of the game that I don't think I fully explored back in the day. And I can tell that I didn't because there's still a lot of um, items sitting around. The hell? Apparently I've been here because there's a human effigy's effect. Not sure what a human effigy does. I think an ascetic effigy makes the enemies come back or something? I don't remember. Oh, whatever. Let's go batshit Bazonga bonkers over here. Be wary of happiness, therefore try bravery. Truer sure words were often spoken, but we're gonna go with them anyway. Hey buddy, how you doing? I got a bone to pick with you. And that bone is the bones that I take out of these guys. And by bones I mean souls, and not homeward bones, which would be also very helpful. There's a thing at the top of that tower. Hey buddy, how you doing? Ah, oh my god, it, he attacked so quickly. Super quickly, okay. Well, he's a better swordsman than I am. Duly noted. I may need to adjust my tactics here by a wide margin. Seriously? I could have sworn that that would have carried me. Oh well. As long as I'm here, I might as well stab another fucker in the back. Or not. Not is fine too. Sometimes not is the price we pay for what we think that is should have been, but didn't happen. 
if that makes any sense. And if it does, then you're doing better than I am, because I've been completely confused by what the hell I just said. It made no sense in my head at the time. Fuck your pots and barrels. Hey, who said that? <laughs> We're making bacon. Blammo. Ah, oh, pork rinds, my dude. You threw your lot in with the wrong crowd, my poor sign friend. Charlotte ain't gonna help you now. Oh my god, I'm getting shot at by a tower. I've alerted the whole camp at this point. Shit's getting real, and I should probably just freaking run. Oh my god. <laughs> Arrows everywhere. Shit, dude. I done alerted the whole damn camp. Thank you, Hankrit. Ah! Holy shit, that was a great shot. I have no idea who's... Oh, there you are. Wait a minute. Do I have any bows and or arrows? I should fire back. Crossbow. Plus two crossbow. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. I can't remember for the life of me how to aim, though. That's something I don't recall. Wait. Maybe I have to... Maybe I have to... Hold it in both hands. There we go. Boom. I do believe he's out of range. Or maybe I just need to aim a little higher. At this point, we're having a pissing contest, he and I. The day is yours. I get it. I get it. I get it. Fuck you. Ow. Buggerty bastard. Take the shot. the better sniper this day. It was a well fought duel, he and I. I toast his victory. Truly, it was one for the ages, that. Good thing I saved, huh? Man, if I hadn't have saved, I'd be pissed. But I did. Take a drink. In my case, you know, maybe pour a drink. Okay. 
Cheers to the sniper. All right. Fortunately, I dropped all these souls right there. All few of them. Very few of them. Give me my shield back. You know what? I am going to take a quick episode break, just for the sake of editing this later, and then I will restart again in just a second. So give me just a sec. Until next time, take a drink. <laughs>